Hello everyone, hello Surya Chef. We are from group 2, consisting of me, Vika Karina Putri, and my friends, Kesha Mara, Yana, and Tegar. Introduction. We observe primary geatries at President University campus as part of our ecological study in industrial engineering. Our goal was to understand the tree's morphological structure and ecological interaction. We conducted this observation in June 2024, focusing on leaves, flowers, bark, fruits, and surrounding biotic element. This a branch bark. This is Plumeria alba, a medium-sized tropical tree. It has smooth grayish bark and dark green leaves, and it can grow up to 8 meters tall. The bark is smooth when young and becomes roger with egg. It's not flaky or scaly, and its color changes from light grayish brown to dark brown. Leaves The leaves of Plumeria alba are large, dark green, and sap like long oval with pointed tips. They grow at the ends of branches and have a smooth leathery surface with visible veins. This characteristic help us identify and classify the three species accurately. Okay, let's begin the leaf identification. The leaf of this tree have an oval shape with a pointed tip. They have a smooth and glossy texture when smell the leaf have a mild barely noticeable odor. If touched, they give a slightly bitter and earthy flavor. This characteristic help us understand the uniques of the leaf structure and chemical makeup. We are moving on the tree appearance, especially the branch. The tree observed is the plumerian tree is head thick woody stem that is a brown and rough to the touch. Its branches are large and irregularly spread, giving a tree white canopy even though it looks strong. The branches are actually quite fragrant and can break easily. This feature helps the tree survive in dry tropical climate by storing water in the trunk and branch. Also, the white spacing on the branch allow better light to reach the lower part of the plant. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the flower. Plumerian flower have a white petal with a yellow center. Sometimes they may have a pink hue. Each flower have a five petal and funnel like shape. They produce a strong sweet fragrance, especially noticeable at night. This can help attract pollinators such as a bees, butterfly, and months. The flower usually grow in a small cluster at the tips of the branch. This not only adds to their beauty but also serves an important ecological function. And based on the all characteristics we observe, the shape and the texture of the leaf, the structure of the bark, and the appearance and the fragrance of the flower, we can identify this tree as a plumerian alba, commonly known as the white fragipani or Cambodia. It's a tropical plant we know for its a beautiful flower and sweet skin. So now is for the species identification. So this plant is called plumeria or in Indonesia we call it Cambodia and it's come from Central and South America and it has name scientific name is Plumeria alba and for the family is Apocynaceae and next slide please so for the next slide is animal around tree and when we do the observation the animal that we found at the tree is on the end and also the end is crawling on the branch and also at the leaves so next slide please and for the next slide is plant around the tree when we do the observation we only found that only two plants at the around the tree which is the ornamental plant and also grass and small shrubs and next slide please and for the next slide is surrounding biotic interactions and then for the first one is for the end so the interaction for the tree between the tree and the end is common salicylism why it's common salicylism because the end is getting benefit from the Cambodia tree but at the same time, the Cambodia tree doesn't harm it by ants. So yeah, that's why the reason that the interaction between Cambodia tree and the ant is common salicylism. Surrounding plants interaction. Under the tree, there are ornamental plants, grass, and small shrubs growing close together. Because sunlight is limited under the tree, they compete to enough light for photosynthesis, taller or faster growing plants get more sunlight and shade the others. Besides that, they also compete for water and nutrients, especially in the dry season. Discussion Ecosystem Services There are four functions here. First, the regulatory function, 
This tree absorbs O2 and releases oxygen through photosynthesis. It's why white canopy gives shade and makes the air cooler around it. The leaves also help stop rainwater and reduce soil erosion. Next, the production functions. This tree makes beautiful and fragrant flowers used for decoration and traditional rituals. The shape, flowers, and leaf are also used traditional medicine. The flower can be processed into aromatherapy oils. Next, the habitat function. The branches and parts of this tree become nesting and shelter places for ants. Then, the information function. This tree is useful for education about tropical plants. It also has cultural and spiritual value in the local community and is often used in research about ornamental plants and ethnobotany. And then for the last is conclusion. From our observation, this tree is Plumeria alba. It has brownish gray trunks, shiny leaves, and white flowers with yellow centers. The thick stem and special leaf arrangement help it survive in a hot tropical climate. In flowers attract pollinators, showing good interactions with the environment. This makes us more aware of how important it is to keep plant diversity on campus. Thank you.